<laughs> Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined today by Brian Leonard at B Leonard Sports on Twitter and Tony Finn at Finn at Wager Talk. The ancient on, one. The ancient one. The ancient one. I was going to say it. We we're laughing off air about being old and. Apparently, Tony's older than I thought he was, so he's yeah. now the ancient one. Okay, let's talk about some Big Ten basketball coming up on Friday. Uh, Ken Palm, early look-ahead line, whatever you want to call it, Michigan minus three. Um, man, this Michigan team, I wanted to bet against them last night with Minnesota. Minnesota kind of gave them that hangover game after Wisconsin. Brian, what I know you do your own college basketball power ratings. What did you make this game, and who do you like in this one? Well, since I uh, just want to fill anybody in, we do videos on Wednesday. The games we're going to talk about are Friday and Saturday, maybe Sunday. It depends on what, what's coming up on the Sunday card. So we don't know what the line are. I made the line Michigan 4. So my opinion will depend on what the actual line is. I, I'm looking for a two-point differential. So if Michigan comes out two, I like Michigan. Michigan comes out six, I like Indiana. So uh, it's tough to handicap these games when we really don't know what the lines are. All right, Tony, I know you made Michigan minus five, yes. so that would be a play on Michigan if it comes out of three for Brian. What is your play on number for the Wolverines? What's my what, – what, what, what do I like? Yes. I really like Michigan here. I, I'm, I'm not – listen, Archie Miller, to his defense – has struggled with some injuries. He's got another one. He, a kid he just suspended. Not a big kid, eight points a game. But this, they're, they're lacking the depth. Uh, you, you can look at their points per game. It's one of the better. It's, one of the, it's in top 50 of Division I basketball. However, this is, these aren't really his kids. There's, this is still kids he inherited. And of any Power Six conference team that's been in the top 25 this year, I think the most undeserving. Is Indiana? I, I don't. They have. They've been pedestrian, and they've. If you've watched them, they're underwhelming. Yeah, Completely I haven't been impressed by Indiana yeah. at all this year. Brian, this is just interesting because I just feel like if it does come Michigan three, I feel like it just screams trap game. We've done a separate video on this. You don't believe in trap games, but almost um, more so, like it's begging me to bet the Wolverines. Well, as you pointed out, we don't agree on the trap game situation. <laughs> uh, I think this is a good spot for, for Michigan, not, not from a spot standpoint, but from a good matchup standpoint. Uh, Michigan takes 37.7% of their shots from three-point range, yeah. and Indiana allows 38.1%. So basically, when you're coming in here, you would figure that Michigan's going to be able to get the shots they want from three-point range. And I went back and I looked. It's in I, conference season. We talked about this last last week. Conference season is totally different from the preseason. In conference season, Michigan starters are all playing 75% of the minutes or more. So your thought process is, well, let's get the Michigan starters in foul trouble. But Michigan is third in the country in staying out of foul trouble, and that's why they're having success. Indiana. I doubt. I, I agree. I, I think Indiana is a little bit overrated. Mm -hmm. um, I doubt if they're going to get Michigan in foul trouble. Michigan's got the better athletes. The sets up pretty pretty well for them from being able to get what they want. Let's just hope we get a good number here with Michigan. Okay, that's accurate. This January sixth game, where they had the game one in Ann Arbor, uh, Michigan was a nine point favorite. Had a fifteen point lead at halftime, and actually spread some of the minutes out in the second half. Ended up winning by only eleven. I think covered the nine and won, but that is one. That's one of those. So that, maybe a little overreaction to yeah. them. It's it is conference basketball, right? Especially the second time around, Michigan on the road. Uh, Indiana has a lot to play for. I mean, this is a team that uh, they're over. I think, as he just said, as I said earlier, I think they're overvalued, and uh, it's a big game for them. Um, but I do like Michigan after the loss to Wisconsin, and the the poor performance they had against Minnesota at in Ann Arbor, by the way, only win by two on a last second shot. All right, great stuff from both guys. Tuesday is always $2 Tuesday at Wager Talk, and you can get the hottest handicapper at Wager Talk's best bet for just two bucks.